in this full course, we're going to be diving into the basics of web development, and we are going to be doing it by building a full-scale website. This website you can see here, um, stevenslaw.com. It's a law firm in America. So you can see the website from here. Uh, they have this pop-up. I'll just go ahead and close that. You can see it's good. It's a very, very beautiful website. I don't know if it's built using WordPress. I haven't checked yet. You can see this upper area. <clears throat> you can see this um, this header section and then this hero section with a video that auto plays, which is beautiful. I don't like this section. It's not good. It shouldn't have been done this way. It should have been on one side. It's not professional. There's this button and then you see these portions here. Very good text and all these. So we are going to be constructing this website from scratch and we are going to do it in separate videos that are going to be broken it's going to be broken into several parts we may not have all these pages like they have here but we are going to do something really similar so to start off i'll come to my hosting account i'm using hostinger if you want to buy hosting because you probably need to host your website somewhere you can use hostinger you can buy you can uh, buy hostinger plan they have a good four-year deal you can check the link in the bio <coughs> So I'm just going to come here. I already have, um, uh, um, you know, as it were, I already have um, installed WordPress on a subdomain. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'll go back. The internet is a bit slow. So in the case where you wanted to use a subdomain, because I'm going to be building this on the subdomain, you click on subdomains. You see it's loading. And then um, the domain I want to use is donodio.com. So I may just see tutorials.donodio.com and I'll click on create. I already have it created. Uh, you can see I already have it created. I think it's on the last page. Yes, this is it, fulltutorial.donodio.com. And then what you'll do next is to come back and install WordPress on that subdomain. So that's how we, this is how we're going to do. We'll come to auto installer. You click on auto installer. And then you choose to install WordPress. It's loading. And then you select the, uh, the subdomain on which or the domain on which you choose you want to install WordPress. In my case, it is um, full tutorial.donodio.com and then I'm going to choose whatever it is that I desire so I'm not going to do this here I'm not going to do this I've already, I already have that installed on full tutorial slash donodio.com and you just click next and then you go to install so I'm going to close this and go back I'll just go into the subdomain in which I install so this is it here um, I already have WordPress installed here. So what I want to go ahead and do is to do install WordPress again. I want to do a fresh installation of WordPress. And I will just click on this button so that we can start from scratch. I already started with that subdomain, but I want us to start from scratch. So it's loading WordPress. So you can see um, it gives me here. Yeah, it just automatically takes the first uh, part of my gmail account to create uh, send me so what we are going to do is that we are going to we are going to try to we're going to create a website title um we're going to see um full tutorial full um let's say full website tutorial and then we are going to put an email address here. We are also going to choose that. I'll choose those. Um, I'll choose those and click next. I don't want anybody seeing my email address so that I don't receive spam mails. So I've put in those credentials. I've put in those credentials and it's asking me, um, yes, recommended WordPress 6.02. This place required that. And then we can go to install. Yes, it's telling me it wants to override the installation of WordPress that is there. Yes, I already did the installation. So it's installing WordPress. It's installing WordPress. So as you can see here, uh, WordPress has been installed. They're asking me if to save the credentials. I'll see. Um, I'll just go ahead and save it on my computer. 
So <clears throat> I can, what I can do is that I can log into this thing from here to the website from here. I can log into the website from here. It's loading. Internet speed today is not the best. And you can see it tells me, hello, welcome back. Um, hello, welcome back. And all this and all this. So what we want to do is to go back to the basics, to the dashboard. So I'm just going to click on this from here and remove. And then reload the screen. I want to go back to the dashboard. So it takes me to the dashboard. One of the things we want to do is to clean this section up. We want to do this. So we are going to remove, remove this, remove all of this. It can be distracting. Side health, we leave side health. Remove this, remove this. So we also want to go to plugins. We want to delete every plugin that is not necessary. Um, you see it has a lot of plugins which come by default. We want to deactivate them. It's how you deactivate. You choose all and then deactivate, apply, deactivate. And then now we delete them. You can't de de uh, delete a web a plugin without de deactivating it. You can see we have no plugin installed there anymore. So if you click on install plugins, it's going to show you no plugins are currently available. What we want to do now is we want to go to themes. We want to check out which themes are there. We see these themes that come by default. We want to delete this one. Delete. Click on this. You delete two. And then we want to install a fresh theme. We will not be using this default one. It's good, but we're using Elementor. So we want to um, click on. You can search from here for Hello Elementor, but there's no need. We already see it here. Hello Elementor is um, very compact. It's built by the Pitch Builder company Elementor, which we're going to be using. You see, when we install Hello Elementor, it already prompts us here to download Elementor. Let's go ahead and delete this first. We don't need it. We need just one thing. So our website will be fast. So install Elementor. It's installing. Unpacking. Yes. So you can activate it from here. This is the free version of Elementor. So it will, we're going to skip, 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 skip. Okay, it's loading this page. We don't need the page right now. You are going to see it's going to bring up a page here. But for now, we don't want to start building pages yet. We just want to set up everything. And then from the next video, we are going to start building the pages. So this has given us another extra information panel. We want to remove this. So we want to add another plugin. Come to plugins. And then add new. It's not a plugin in the repository. It's want to install Elementor Pro. Uh, you have to. It's a paid plugin. For us to be able to do all of what we see on this website, you need the Elementor Pro, uh, Elementor Pro version. Uh, for us to put all the functionality and some of these custom headers, you need the Elementor Pro version. You can go to the link on my bio and you can use the link on my bio and get Elementor Pro for a discount. So. Um, I'm going to click on this upload plugin. So I already have Elementor Pro on my downloaded on my desktop. So I'm just going to um, upload it and install it. It's installing. Okay, we have Elementor Pro installed, so we go ahead and activate it from here. Yes, so we have Elementor Pro <coughs> um, installed. So from the next video, we are going to be uh, start creating pages and sections and start building this amazing website. See you in the next video.